life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I died and behold, I am alive evermore, and I hold the keys of hell and death. Because I live, you shall live also. Friends, we've gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Tina. We have come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort, in sorrow, hope, and in death, resurrection. Let us pray. O God who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. You know our needs before we ask, and our ignorance in asking. Give to us now your grace, that as we shrink before the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Speak to us once more your solemn message of life and of death. Help us to live as those who are prepared to die. And when our days here are accomplished, enable us to die as those who go forth to live so that living or dying, our life may be in you, and that nothing in life or in death will be able to separate us from your great love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I'd like to read to you from Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, O comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. And uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain, then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cries out, and I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flower fades but the word of our God will stand forever. Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strength to the powerless. Even youth will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Tina was my little sister, our, our little sister. Uh, my brother Les is here with his daughter, my niece Stacia from Arkansas. She was born on my third birthday, as, as some of y'all know. Um, and I used to kid her that uh, I had asked for a pony, not a, not a little sister. And, and I had also, I used to kid her that, uh, that it was the, that was the worst birthday present I ever got. not quite the way I feel today, uh, but um, we were pretty close, you know, being three years apart and living there together and having to share the same birthday, which meant also sharing birthday cakes. Uh, it would be one large cake and half it would be Tina and half for me. Uh, so 
you know, I always got gypped out of having my full, a full birthday to myself. Um, but it was, it was, it was nice to, to be able to share it with someone. We, uh, we grew up uh, in the house with, uh, with my grandma and my mom, and uh, our grandmother was was uh, was the one who, who doled out a lot of the discipline. Um, and and <clears throat> we probably have done the same thing that many of y'all have done is <clears throat> had to go and get our own switch when when we got discipline. <clears throat> grandma would send us out for a switch, and and uh, and on those few occasions where I had to go and get the switch. <laughs> uh, I came in and would get switched and and I would I would holler but Tina would cry because I was getting switched. Uh, I'm not sure whether she was just feeling for me or whether she was scared she was next to me. But she would but she would cry uh, when I got switched. Uh, we were we were pretty close. Um, over the years, of course, we, we kind of grew a, a little further apart. She moved down to Texas, and and, and, and then I moved out here. Uh, but we kept in touch, and, and and she would call. We would talk, uh, especially whenever she needed some advice, uh, needed some help with something. Uh, she would give me a call, and we would talk, and um, and and she would even. She even came out a few times for us to, to share our birthday together. <clears throat> I heard someone once say that you are the you are your life is the sum and you your character and everything is the sum of all the people who have put into your life, all those who have loved you and have known you. Uh, you are the sum of that, and and. Uh, and as I look around today, I see how my life is the sum of of all of these folks. And 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 since Tina got sick back in July, uh, I've thought a lot about our lives together and and what we've shared. And um, even though I was the older brother and and was more often the one to give advice, uh, I have been able to see how she has put into my life, how she has invested into my life, and how my life is 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 part partly hers, uh, and, and that what what she, her love and all that she has given to me has made me part of who I am, and and uh, and I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful for what she has uh, loved for our family, for my mom, especially. Uh, when um, when I went down to Texas after she died to, to make the, all the arrangements, uh, I met a lot of her coworkers. We had a visitation at the funeral home there uh, before we brought her back to North Carolina. And uh, she worked at GM Financial down there, and, and uh, I had never met any of her coworkers before, but I met there was probably 30 of her coworkers there that night. She's been there about 16 years, I think. And each one of them, every one of them, came up to me that night and, and told me what she had invested in them, uh, how she had trained them when they came on to the job, and, and, and how much they appreciated all that she had given them and, 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 and meant to them. Uh, and that was a big help to know that, that, uh, that so many people down there uh, had loved her and appreciated her also. My wife, my wife found this. I'm not sure where she found it. She didn't even know I was going to share it, but um, she posted this the other day, and, and I think it really says a lot in a time like this. Uh, the scripture is from James chapter four, verse fourteen. It's your life is like a mist; you can see it for a short time, but then it goes away. And I'm not sure who wrote this, but in God's plan, every life is long enough and every death is timely. 
And though you and I might wish for a longer life, God knows better. And this is important. Though you and I may wish a longer life for our loved ones, they don't. Ironically, the first to accept God's decision of death is the one who dies. While we are shaking heads in disbelief, they are lifting hands in worship. While we are mourning at a grave, They are marveling at heaven. While we are questioning God, they are praising God. <clears throat> Go ahead. <clears throat> Have a selection from Romans chapter 8. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will, all, will give life to your mortal bodies also. Through His Spirit that dwells in you, for all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. And if children, then heirs... Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with Him, so that we may be also glorified with Him. I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. We know that all things work for the good of for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things are we more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We'd, uh, we'd like uh, everyone to, to sing along with us. Uh, you should have gotten a hand out, How Great Thou Art. Um, and I'm going to count on the choir members from... Holly Springs, Canada, and Todd Good. <coughs> kind of make sure we stay on tune there. <laughs> I'll start it off. <laughs> oh, Lord, my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider Thank you. 
pray to you for one another in our need and for all anywhere who mourn with us this day. To those who doubt, give light. To those who are weak, strength. To all who have sinned, mercy. To all who sorrow, your peace. Keep true in us the love with which we hold one another. In all our ways we trust you. And to you with your church on earth and in heaven we offer honor and glory now and forever. O oh God, all that you have given us is yours. As first you gave us, gave Tina to us, we now give <laughs> Tina back to you. Receive Tina into your arms of your mercy. Raise Tina up with all your people. Receive us also and raise us into a new life. Help us so to love and serve you in this world that we may enter into your joy in the world to come. Into your hands, O oh merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Tina. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, into the glorious company of the saints of light. Let's pray. God of love, we thank you for all that you with you blessed us, even to this day, for the gift of joy, in the days of health and strength, and for the gifts of your abiding presence and promise, in the days of pain and grief. We praise you for home and friends, for our baptism and place in your church, with all who have faithfully lived and died. Above all else, we thank you for Jesus, who knew our griefs, who died our death, and rose for our sake, and who lives and prays for us, as he taught us. So now we pray. Who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 